Hey, got two drawers, got stretched that cool in my kitchen, fantastic. Yeah, I'm back, bitch. I come round and get ratchet. Pop two bean and get active. Anti, I do it like ice ring, nigga. I skate. Man can't worry about bitch boys. I'm low key with enough on my plate. I'm bringing her around and she shake like, like shake it. Work it. Drink you say and get twerking. Imagine me running, get nervous. Man, my bitch won't visit like Merlin. Welcome back to another episode of Talking the Hardest with a very talented, multifaceted, Talent mogul, Kish, aka Kish, fantastic. How are you doing, bro? Um, hey, I'm all right. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? Yeah, bro, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, nice weather and that. I think that's a that's a standard bit of small talk to go to about the weather. So you already know we're struggling. So I'm gonna crack right on with the questions. All right, so Kish, first question: What is your favorite album? For now, I just say uh, Space Ghost Club, Blackland Radio, six six point six. Favorite subject at school. Uh, physical education. Your favorite alcoholic drink? Uh, I don't know. uh, your most famous person that you've met? Uh, my friend Jay Ritchie. Best thing that you can cook? Best thing I can cook. Uh, I don't know risotto. Your favorite TV show from childhood? Naruto. Your favorite sport to play? Football. Favorite lyric that you've written? Um, got two draws. Got stretch that cool. Makes it fantastic. Your favorite fashion brand? Uh, uh, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and three things that you would bring with you on a desert island. Desert island, three things I'd bring with me. Yeah, you can go tactical uh, or you can go for fun answers. It's up to you. Oh, I'm on Wi Fi, PS5, and an internet route. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good shout, actually. But there's, wait, you got no games there, though. <laughs> It's the internet, there, so there's no, I can do so I can I can go on Reddit or something. Yeah. Actually, you ain't even got a browser on there no more. But I can YouTube so I'm hacking your game on YouTube. Yeah, I think we're getting a bit technical now. I'll give it to you. I get what you're trying to go for there. I get what you're trying to go for there. <laughs> so uh what's uh talk me through the risotto? You what's that looking like? Answer, so I just have to think on that. Yeah, what's what's that risotto looking like? That's what um, I was first interested about. The risotto, I don't know. I, it, it depends. It depends on what you want in there for. Like when you when you ask me the best thing I can cook, like there's just so many things. Like I I I I can cook. Just you, I'm saying that's the first thing. I guess if you can't cook, you don't have a multitude of options. Mm -hmm. But um, I can cook, so it just means like like it doesn't mean I can cook like amazing stuff. But it's, like, I don't know what the best. Thing. So risotto is pretty cool. Depends on how you want it. Like, uh, it makes a nice like deep risotto. Yeah, yeah, man. That's a... But yeah, there's an old process to kind of like making risotto. So you kind of got, yeah kind of got to be aware of that. I guess that's what I'd say. It's not like the easiest thing to make, and that's what I'd probably say. Mate, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of labour in risotto. You can't just walk off and leave that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta really build the sources and all of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you, you know, what you, you, you know what you're talking it, about. Yeah, it take resonate and marinate and, and, <laughs> and triangulate. Maybe, maybe. What, what are you What are you cooking tonight, to you? What's for dinner at uh, Kish's house tonight, then? Um, I have no idea, to be honest. I always think about these things last time, so we'll see, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Some, yeah, some nice. Couscous yesterday. I didn't cook it, but it was, it was my answer. So. Yeah, that sounds yeah, nice, bro. Um, all right, bro. Mm -hmm. I like them answers. That's pretty good. That's pretty solid. I'm gonna go. We're gonna talk a little bit about your music now, and just about you more personally. I'm gonna kick it off. Talk us through a day in the life of Kish. Um, he does dumb shit like open up his jacket, and then he's got like a red do rag on with an orange. Like, that, like, like, I don't really care about things like that, but at the same time, it's like those are two like colors you don't just bounce off each other. Like it looks kind of worse. He does dumb shit like that. Um, but um, a regular <laughs> day with me, I don't, I don't know. I, I do a multitude of different things. So whether that's working, I haven't been working as much recently for various reasons. But usually it's just like either get up, go to work, work, put my stuff aside from that, pretty much. Um, do some some possible streaming at night. Um, a lot more recently, it's just been kind of. I'm always doing something. If I'm not at work, then I'm working on that like, because obviously I do the podcast. I hate the podcast, obviously. I'm a musician, um, and I started doing streaming now as well. So it's, it's like I'm always doing something. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't party too much, but you're busy. Because... You're a busy man. What's up? What's your favorite out of those three things then, or at the moment? I guess it probably changes, but at the moment, what do you prefer yeah. doing? Yeah, it fluctuates. I mean. I'll probably say the streaming because it's the least like it's the least um it's not the most passive thing I'm doing out of the three of them. So in terms of like career goals or whatever, that's not like the main career goal or anything like that. But in terms of what I just purely enjoy sitting down doing, and it is nice to do that. I do enjoy making music sometimes with my myself is when it's nice as I want it to be right about now. So it's a bit annoying to make music. But um 
yeah, it's probably that. It's, it relaxes me, it keeps me, keeps me, keeps yeah, me man, I, that, whatever that means. I, I, yeah, I've see, I seen you on the Minecraft. I mean, to be fair, I see like, you know, like P45, our hands thing. Yeah, yeah. There's like definitely like a space opening up for like uh like music artists like rappers getting into into the streaming space a lot more. Bro, yeah, like unfortunately me, I just have a have a lot of ideas. I don't execute them, so it's always the guy. Why don't sometimes I don't always have the means be an independent artist to execute them? I want to, so that doesn't really matter because. But the point is, it's like yeah, like I went like I was streaming like I, was, I originally went to start streaming like 2019. Like there's been a space for that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's good yeah, that more people sure. are doing it. For me, it's like I know, like I've got a little Discord of like gaming stuff and getting more into like the gaming community and stuff. Like the more I do little Minecraft and streams and some of the cool people are around me. So it's like the more I get into those kind of things, the more it's like, all right, I'm kind of seeing the lane I want to open up, like personally. Mm-hmm. Everything I do, I always got like a kind of like a, um, I guess like an end goal of what I want to do. Yeah, like, sick, man. Thing. So with that, it's just like it's opening those up to, to different spaces. A lot of people don't realize, you know, there even are cool places and things that you can do with gaming. So. So like open yeah, the spaces for people from where so, I'm from, you know? Yeah, for sure. So talking about the end goal, let's go back to where it started. How did you originally get into music? Like, what was that sort of process? When did you make your first song? When did you realise you wanted to make music? All of that sort of stuff. Where did it begin? I made my first song, like, 2017, I think, maybe. I don't know. I always like rapping it. Like, I've always grown up listening to a lot of rap music. I've always grown up listening to hip-hop. There was a time in my life, like when I was growing up, where literally the only thing I listened to was rap music. It's quite funny. But um, I always like to think I had like genres within that rap music that I like. So I'd have like my sad rap music, my melodic rap music, my you know, whatever. Yeah. But um, I just never really had the confidence to do it. Long story short, I got an older brother, um, Trey Glove. He's an actor primarily, but he raps as well. Um, mm-hmm. Very good rapper as well. Um, but I guess he made it accessible for me to kind of feel like it can actually be done. Otherwise, I never would have done it. But like seeing him do it, and then I did little things like I went to Brit school. So when I was doing like theater, I did like a play where I had to like rap and do a song and stuff. And it was all like, it was just interesting. So I ended up naturally doing it. It was me and Jay Richie pretty much. And then from there, um, yeah, like I just, I made a song. Then I was like, cool, like let me build up at least like four or five songs. Because at the time, everyone was rapping. Everyone is rapping now. Do you see what I'm saying? But at the time, it's like everyone's just decided they went to be a rapper. I was one of the people as well. So it's like I went to catch up seriously. But so I just kind of like stocked up tune. I think I released the first one in like 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, no, nah, no, nah, not 2018, like 2017, actually. Mm-hmm. I've got my dates slightly and stuff. But 2017, I, I think I released my first song. We are doing that for a few months, and then by the next year, it was looking decent. I don't know, my time frame's all messed up. I've, I've done too much silly things in fit- the past with uh, substances. Yeah, man. I mean, I guess, um, like, I guess Maddie, obviously, your biggest tune that came out like 2018, maybe with Dima. So I guess that was yeah. probably quite quite early on. Um, little question: Who who is Maddie? I think called Maddie. <laughs> A little. I can't remember the first four bars of that, but that's what. I was yeah, saying. I'm not even gonna try it, bro. I'm not even gonna try it. Who, uh, yeah, who is Maddie? Who is Maddie? Maddie's, Maddie's... Maddie's whoever you want it to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't... All right. All right, I'll set up a nut. Like, like, even if it was some thing that we knew or something, like, it'd be kind of wild for me. I, I never understood it. Like, <laughs> it'd be kind of wild for me to jump on a, a little podcast and be like, yeah, so it was this girl that I knew. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I give, me her, give me her government yeah. name. Yeah, you know, like that. But, um, <laughs> no, nah, uh, you know, I'll let Dima explain that if you ever want to explain that. But, you know, there, there is there is a thought process and, 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 and elements to it that yeah. make a song. I, I guess you could say it's drawn off of experiences as well. I don't think any of us are really like super capping in what we're talking about, mm-hmm. but I, I, I leave the rest of that to what it is. Isn't it? So I think you, I think you get like a good enough gist of the story from there. To be honest, so it's just like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think we're mad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Let, let's go to uh, uh, some some more of your current music. Can you talk me a bit through sort of like the creative process behind Kish? Uh, yeah, Kish's delivery service. Um, I guess, like, with all my, like, projects and stuff, I like them to be... I kind of I, I kind of had an epiphany that, like, sometimes I feel like... I've got a lot of music out there, right? Really. Uh, sometimes I feel like I have too much music out. Other times I look back and I go, like, in five years, I put out about, like, put out two EPs, Kitchen Delivery Services EPs. So I put out two EPs mm-hmm. and add two full-scale projects in between that, which is Fantastic Preservation 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Life all fantastic. That's not a lot of music. Do you see what I'm saying? Especially yeah, yeah, yeah. Have like a visual presence in a massive way and things like that. So for me, it's just always about trying to figure these things out. Okay, whatever. But um, yeah. So in regards to that, it's like I like all my things to kind of just have a, a slight theme. I always feel like I read a lot of comic books and watch a lot of anime, so I feel like they're they're like arcs. If you know, like about an arc or like a season, mm-hmm. like a series. So each one of those is kind of like a certain arc in my life. So you know, that was the stage I was at with this, mm-hmm. with that, with that. I feel fantastic. I was at a certain stage, and I feel like with this, I'm just at a certain stage again. If that makes sense, I kind of came to an epiphany. I need to drop more projects in a certain mm-hmm. type of way, a bit smart about how I put out the music. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, it- yeah, in terms of that, like, yeah, go on, sir. I was just gonna say, bro. Even even your singles uh, is "Walk" with a uh, uh, naughty Alice that came out as well, bro. Mate, I was listening to that in the gym the other day, and I didn't. It just came on like my my random shuffle or whatever, and then I heard you come in. I was like, "This is this is different." Yeah, I like yeah, it. Yeah. It worked really well. The two of you together, man. I really liked it. It Thank sounded you. um, and also uh, is it Bex as well? Your two, yeah. your two. Uh, there's a bit like where you reference her in your uh, verse, and then she references you in the second verse. Like I could always kind of feel like you can you can hear when two artists are like actually work together properly rather than just sending it over like a, an MP4 to each other or whatever and slapping it on an instrumental. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's fact. It's funny because that Bex tune was an MP4 that was sent over. <laughs> <laughs> you made me look like a dick in there, bro. <laughs> nah, 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 but you're but, but that's the point, like you know, you're not supposed to know that. That's not supposed to be, like, information that you can listen to the song and just hear. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. If it is done like that, then at least you want to make sure that you're collaborating with people that are talented or that are, do you know what I'm saying, able to reflect what you do. So, mm. like, time I heard her verse and it's like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's this and that. Then I work on mine and then we put it together while we make sure, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it was still yeah. a process. We shot the video together, obviously, so. Mm-hmm. So that we can each other that kind of stuff like Bex is very cool. I got a lot of respect for her. So um yeah, it's it's a it's a yeah, it, it was a it, it's it's supposed to come together like that, and that's the point. And um so you you're not you're not wrong to say what you're saying at all because yeah. like, said, it's like you don't you're not supposed well, to bro, come on the track and just hear paste it on or whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well look, look I guess um, it worked it worked well then. Worked well then the economy. Yeah. <laughs> um, the thing is the thing is it's like it's it's always a different vibe. Do you see what I'm saying? Like and that's that's part of what I think, partially where I'm doing a, little, a bit more talking these days in the like, public and certain things like that, like just like podcast wise and stuff. But I think like with the range of music that I do, sometimes it's like it naturally, until people are fully familiar with you as an artist, it's always naturally going to be slightly like, all right, one day you're going to hear a song like Super Strange, which comes out, trappy, borderline Detroit shit. Then you hear Walk, do you see what I'm saying? Which is in the... Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that alienating, but at the same time, there are going to be a lot of men that might listen to that. Okay, that's not my vibe. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it's like keeping up with that artist consistently is like it's it's different for some people because then some people are not going to know what's even come, like what's going to be coming next in a certain type of way. So I say all of that to say like it's just interesting to see how people react differently to things and hear it and you know just trying to shape it from here. Yeah, and bring it all back in a certain way. Cause no, of very- course, man. It's uh, it's obviously it's important yeah. to be versatile. Important to be versatile, right? Um, okay. So moving on to let's say your your next album, whenever that's coming. What who would be your three dream artists? You can pick anybody, um, of any status or any level to have on there. Which three artists would it be? I was thinking about this the other day, like, like maybe it's just where I'm at in life. But like the people I've worked with, like the people that I've worked with, I don't really. Like maybe that's my my own musical journey that I need to get on again and realize these things. But it's like I don't I don't have too many people. Like there's a lot of people that I listen to that I think are cool, but it's like I don't I don't really listen to any artists. It just be like you know what this got me sick to like. I think that like, one will be Black Cray, just out of like respect for like him and what he's done and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Like it always just be cool to do that. Just you know what I'm saying. Other than that, like so for example, like there was a song in a vault from way back when I kind of like when um I kind of spoke to Shorty Horror a little bit and he's like one of the biggest battle rappers mm-hmm. if you like if you know me battle rap is something that I watch a lot so the point is it's like I've already kind of hit a goal with that right it never came out it was whatever it's not like to brag about but it's more in a sense of like I've already hit certain goals with certain things with the people that I feel like I want to do certain things with other than mm-hmm. that like maybe like Black Cray I'd make a song with Tia Corinne cool 
Bro, that's that's you know, you don't if if there, if there ain't three, bro, I think that's I think that's testament to you, to be honest. If there ain't even three, like it's it's pretty easy to say like Drake or whatever in it, but I think that's I think that's sick. I'll ask I'll ask a slightly different question then. Um instead of on your album, right? You said that you said that football's your favorite sport, right? Who is who are four mm. other music artists that you'd have on a five aside team with yourself? <laughs> well, I like, actually could be wolf. It could be anybody, yeah, I yeah, yeah. That. I ain't seen enough about kickball like that, so <laughs> you got a guess. Razor. Yeah, I'm gonna say Razor because I've seen Razor kick. I kick ball with Razor like once, so I see. Yeah, him. yeah. Um, fucking, let's say yeah, oh, it's fuck it, man. Like I don't go with a man then from like, fam, listen, Brando, Brando, you ain't be starting in a piece spot. You somebody, you just, we actually just dropped a, a compilation tape on Spotify. Right? The collection, the collection, the collection tapes. Um, or play it, one of the two, but it's on the it's like a two from seven compilation tape. It's some of the guys that um, that I've been making music with for a while. But um, but again, Brando, you know, obviously, again, I've seen him kick balls, so I don't really take him. Uh, <laughs> other than that, like I don't, know, I don't know, I ain't kick balls with too many artists like that. So I don't really know. I'm just gonna say like again, Cabs, I guess Cabs ain't really started in a while, but I say Cabs. <laughs> Elf on the pitch. I'm gonna say Rex because I had Rex kick balls. I don't know how that team would work because I, I feel like that's a team of all forwards, but um, I'm just just picking names out of hand. Yeah, man, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out later down the line. We'll, we'll have to get you a good manager. Have to get a good manager in our sign. Um, all right, we've got a, a, a couple more questions. Right, what <laughs> what is a what is a? I feel like you like this one, Kish, just from this interview. Right, what is what's a conspiracy theory that you actually genuinely believe in? <laughs> that is a good question. Um, <laughs> fuck me. Uh, a, a conspiracy theory I genuinely believe in. Um, yeah. I don't know that a lot of the government. See, if I say these conspiracy theories, I might get my cancelled from that. Well, right, just, just, just. I think you just. I think the rule is if you say allegedly before, then you're sweet. I think that's the rules. That is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah allegedly. <laughs> just let's just say allegedly, there's like things going on in high places with young people that yeah. aren't very nice. No, yeah, about that, about that. I'm not yeah. gonna lie, like after, like after, it's not even. I'm not even gonna say a specific group of people, but after. After what I saw the other day, especially, not that this was a massive eye opener because come on, man, like, for God's sake. But, like, after what I saw the other day, day with the Dalai Lama, whatever, like, when he was telling, could you see that? He, yeah, yeah, he yeah. He told the, the kid to, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, yeah, man. Suck his tongue as a cultural greeting. Yeah, man. That's, that's what I want to say. Just so, yeah, man. I'm, I'm not going to get too much into that because, yeah, this is a lighthearted thing. But, um, <laughs> yeah, because I, 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 I don't really believe in that. Or maybe I should have said that there, there's life on other planets. And I, and, and I only believe that purely based off of like my own theory in life if that makes sense i want like, to hear this theory then let's make let's take it a bit more lighthearted. what's it what's the theory about life on other planets the theory is just simple like the theory is simply the fact that we are a, a minuscule microbe in the scope of the in the scope the scope of the universe mm-hmm. so it, it, theoretically it is impossible yeah, like statistically, so not to be life on other planets, if that's not a double negative or whatever, but no, I hate theoretically, you, I hate it's impossible. Like, how can there not be life on other planets just because they're not within the scope of what we can see? How How can there not be? It doesn't mean like there could just be other humans living in a fucking solar system somewhere else, or it could be as small as a microbe that can, you know what I'm saying, survive on yeah, the no, planet. Yeah, no, I hate you. But yeah, the point yeah, is, yeah. It's like, there's, like, there's no way. And I think that's obviously you've kind of like proven already to a degree. So I might just be saying something that's like, like, bro, everybody knows this. But mm-hmm. I, I don't know. So no, I hear you. That's, that's good. That's good. That works. All right. This is uh, the fi- the final question. In your dream scenario, uh, where would you be in five years' time? In five years' time, not in London paying all these high prices. <laughs> um, somewhere where I'm comfortable and can. Just, just yeah, just comfortable. Let's just say that. Just comfortable. Yeah, I like that. I like that. There's um, a, I don't, there's I don't, be- I don't need to be famous. Beauty and simplicity. Yeah, yeah nice. just, just comfortable and, and able to, to, to be free. To nice have one, a, bro. a degree of freedom. Nice. Yeah. All right, bro. Well, uh, yeah, that's that's my last question. Thank you very much for the interview. Is uh, anything that you'd like to uh, like to promote from yourself? Um, yeah, man. Check out Kitchen's Delivery Service EP. That's out right now. Um, shout out Jesse, shout out Basky, shout out Bruce on it. Um, go and check out my Twitch as well, Heartbreak Kish. Um, two Ks, Heartbreak Kish. Um, where I just be streaming their random shit is brilliant. Um, might hear some random music from me sometimes as well, exclusive shit on top of that. 
Um, and yeah, other than that, check out Haters Podcast. The, the episode just dropped literally uh, last Sunday. So that's featuring me and Jesse, actually, who's on the papers as well. And Jay Ritchie, who I've just mentioned and name dropped a couple of times in this interview. Um, so go and check that out. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, just stay on the lookout. I drop a lot of shit and do a lot of things. So, you know. Legend, yeah, man. Appreciate, appreciate having you on.